Some of the biggest challenges we hear from couples is that they're trying to follow someone else's blueprint to create their love story. People are so caught up in trying to look like or be the perfect couple that they don't want to take the time to figure out what's really important to them and what values they need to start their relationship off on a solid and stable foundation. We started our love journey together in our late teens. So there were more than a few times that we were speeding down the freeway of love with no brakes in sight. While we felt that we were young and invincible, life showed up real quick and let us know that we weren't that special and that we could easily get knocked upside our head with a few bruises and scrapes along the way. But even with all these twists and turns, the thing that we continue to be proud of is that we created our love based on our own rules. I was the first one to initiate intimacy in our relationship, and at one point, I was the breadwinner in our home as DeVal was beginning to start his acting career. And DeVal was the first to be bold enough to pivot into his dream of becoming an actor after walking away from his career in the NFL, which then inspired me to chase my own goals as a makeup artist, an on-air TV personality, and social media content creator. Coming from families that looked successful on the outside but were actually emotionally dysfunctional behind closed doors, we knew we couldn't follow the old marriage playbooks from our parents. We had to create our own rules about how we wanted to communicate, build, and thrive together to create a family that we could be proud of. Now, some of these rules that we created for ourselves were broken and rebuilt time and time again. Some of our primary values about serving each other and propelling each other's goals have remained the same. Then if you're truly committed to having a lifelong relationship that's able to withstand the challenges that are sure to come your way, you have to be willing to step away from everyone's opinions and make your own guidelines. We know that there are still people who are following rules like observing 90 days of abstinence at the beginning of a relationship, shunning women for embracing their sexual autonomy, taking on those old Mars versus Venus rules from the 1990s, or feeling like you have to let a man be an alpha male and take the lead. No shade to anybody if these classic approaches work for you, but we have a good feeling that they probably don't. So how do you create a dating vibe that works for you? How do you step into your own sexuality and sensuality without guilt, judgment, or shame? When is the right time to define your relationship? Who gets to say, I love you first? And does it even matter? So let's talk about what it means to start off on the right foot in creating a good relationship and help you find the value in creating your own rules. The biggest lesson that I learned immediately from our first date was to say exactly what you mean and what you feel. If you're dating with purpose, when you first meet someone and you're getting to know them, it's important to tell them exactly what you want, what you need, and how you feel. This is the best way to make sure there are no blurred lines. Don't worry. If they're the right person, you won't scare them off. You'll be setting the boundaries for healthy communication going forward. After our first kiss, I told Kadeen straight up, Look, I don't want to be anybody's boyfriend. I was super glad when she replied, That's fine, because I don't want to be anybody's girlfriend. <laughs> we knew we both liked each other. And we were both curious to figure out exactly what that was going to look like. We were both upfront and transparent with each other. With all my 18-year-old confidence, I said, I don't know exactly what I want, but I know that I like you. That step was important for me because throughout our marriage, I've learned that sometimes you don't know exactly how to articulate what you want or what you need from your partner, but you can start by articulating what you want for yourself. From there, the choice is up to your partner to oblige you and decide if they want to serve you in that capacity. As Kadeen and I continued being honest about what we wanted individually, our relationship continued to grow and the foundation got stronger. Even if we didn't agree on what we wanted at the same time, at least I knew what she wanted for herself, and we made choices to serve each other in that capacity. We made mistakes, of course, but having that solid foundation made it easier for us to be honest and reevaluate what was working and what wasn't. 